doesn't necessarily need to unify. It's okay. The, uh, the difference, the difference is important. But for some, when we have some reason, we have to unify. And then, in that case, we want to create the common understanding. And then, who shows one of this conclusion? And how to overcome the schema of the subject of it? How to overcome both skepticism and the positivism that just sort of completed the whole elucidation of the cognition and subject, yes, replacing subject of the schema, the human transcendence schema. I want to frame it. It means regarding all knowledge that we, everyone has one's own world. Everyone lives one's own life world as each animal has its own big life. Then there's no such thing as the objective world itself, the world itself. But it does not mean that there's no such thing as the universal This is uh, the claim of the skepticism. Skepticism always deny mm, it. Propose, propose the negligence of so, so, knowledge. And then, the so sort of idea, the all knowledge of the subject will be in terms. And our life world is a network of the subject. Because everyone has his, his life world. And then, but we always exchange um, them. And through the relationship, we always create into subjective before the world. Mm -hmm. For that, we have to turn. Okay. Yes. This is the last um, slide. And phenomenology means the theory of, I think, um, the meanings, uh, theory of meanings, sustainably cannot form our life world, and that of, that of how to figure out the conditions to create in our society consensus, agreement, common knowledge, uh, mutual recognition, uh, mutual understanding and so on. Then not the theory of how to find the absolute objectivity or the truth. Then this is the very reason that phenomenology still remains the most significant philosophical method or most significant philosophy, contemporary philosophy in the contemporary world, in particular for the world of all practical science. One last thing I want to say that uh, the method of phenomenology has long been criticized, severely criticized, um, by two camps. One is modern positivism, one is uh, um, yes, uh, contemporary realism. But I think, I think phenomenology really criticizes, can criticize them. The, not, I, don't want to deny the positivism or uh, mm -hmm. it has uh, the, some good reason, but their criticism has no good reason, I think, a misconception of phenomena. Uh, and then, yes, um, the main point is when we put this idea in the brain. Maybe, I think, I suppose, I hope um, you can read the idea of the phenomenology very clear. <coughs> and then, uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, one more thing, um, I prepared um, this time, this year, a uh, website. And then I uploaded the complete recording of the idea of phenomenology. This is a uh, contrastive um, translation of the Japanese and English. Not uh, English, the body of English and uh, decoding, but uh, you can see the whole testament. Maybe I can show you uh, like that. And then please click. This, the idea of phenomenology is decoding. 
Yes, like that. And then almost all the whole content, not completed, but then and whole content and you can read. Oh, that's hard to that. Okay. And um, thank you very much. I'm afraid we haven't got time for questions. Um, we must go straight on. But um, yeah, thank you very much for that very provocative account of uh, those concepts. Thank you. Thank you.